Okay, so we're going to solve these problems again. I'm going to do them by hand. Let's see if I can make it better than last time. 1.20 plus 1.35. we got to line up the decimals. Okay, I'm not going to add the underneath line equals part. You can do that. So um, it's 2.55. Um, fine, I'll add that. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. And 1 plus 1 is 2. Bring the decimal down. That is our answer. Okay, let's go ahead and copy and paste this and do the subtraction problem here. So this is subtraction. Eh. Okay, what I do? Ugh. This is why I'm not YouTube famous because I can't do videos very well. <laughs> okay, so 3.72 and then it's minus 1.21 get rid of all that. So then we're going to subtract. So we're going to go 2 minus 1 is 1. <laughs> 7 minus 2 is 5. Bring down the decimal. And then 3 minus 1 is 2. So that is our answer, 2.51. The last one, again, we are adding two negative numbers here. When we're adding two negative numbers, um, remember they have the same sign, so we add the numbers, keep the sign. So we're just going to go ahead and add 3.1, and we'll add a zero because the next decimal that we're adding has um, two decimal places. So 3.10 plus um, that is, I'm just going to go this way, 4.27. The only problem with going uh, like a sentence going from left to right is if you have to carry a number over, you could end up getting it wrong. Um, that's just a little piece of information. So, and then we add our negative because both of them are negative. So it's negative 4.27. And that looks like that is it.